Today is finally the day the solar panels go up. And it happens to be raining. I got a uh, drone. Get some sweet aerial Wait, footage. So first things first, you gotta install the racks to actually hold the solar panels. In our case, we ended up getting some used racks, but they weren't the proper length. So we cut two posts in half and attached them. And now they go on the roof. Nope. Now what we did is we actually spaced the racks about eight inches from the edge of the panel. So they're not all the way on the end and it actually provides better support for the weight of the panel if there's any snow or any other accumulation. What's going on here, Marty? There's too many people working on the solar panel right now. Uh, so Narjes and I are making uh, more and more chairs until we uh, start our chair factory here at Valhalla. Uh, we decided community is no longer interesting to us, okay. uh, but making chairs out of pallets, that's, uh, that's the direction we want to go. We have eight different panels, but four of them are 255s and four of them are 250 watts. So you've got to make sure to string them together. Our wind comes from that direction, which is basically northwest. And so we want to make sure that the panels aren't too high on the roof so that there's not a lot of wind that's getting under them and not a lot of snow accumulation at the top as well. Shake it up a couple tricks, you know the deal. And just to get a couple bills, she let him get a couple bills. A bullet to the brain and make him pull it for the fame. She only got herself to blame. She's trying to wash away the pain. So we made sure to drill a hole into the roof to actually run the wires into the solar shed. All the transformation boxes that are underneath them are in line so you can daisy chain them. We made it so that it's airtight. And the reality is that you have to put some kind of silicone to seal it so that no water leaks into your shed. You know what always slows down the job? Three things. One, the weather. Two, not having the right tools for the job. Three, somebody trolling you all day. So, there's still a few things left to do, including grounding the whole system. We also kind of need to do some edging and a little bit of uh, trellis work maybe on the sides. We'll see. <laughs> 